Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about installing WordPress. I'm going to be using uh, OS X Mavericks and MAMP 3.06. I'm going to be installing WordPress two different ways. Uh, the first way I'm going to be using the extras feature here in uh, MAMP Pro and the second way I'm going to be installing it manually. Okay, so I'm going to get ahead, uh, go ahead and get started with the uh, extras way of doing it. I already set up a My Extra host in uh, username documents hosts WP host and I set my PHP, PHP version to 5.1.6 which is a little older version of PHP so if I go to the extras menu here and I click plus I get a warning message because uh, well I have a, a warning message here and it says possible reasons why no hosts uh, content management systems appear here is because an incompatible PHP version or it might not be enough free space on your hard disk, which is a, a low probability, but that may be. So if I simply go back here and switch my PHP version to a more modern version of PHP 5.5.14, restart my servers, and uh, wait a second, uh, I should be able to see the content management systems. And so far here in 3.0.06, we have Drupal, Joomla, Web Edition, and WordPress. And I'm going to pick WordPress and install. So here we have a dialog, and it's as simple as uh, um, filling this out, and you'll be up and running. Uh, you do have to fill in some uh, at, uh, email address here, probably your, uh, your real one. Uh, down here, directory, you can add a subdirectory if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the WordPress files in my WP host uh, directory. Database name, I'm going to just change to screen, WordPress underscore screencast for uh, simplicity so we can see when we look at the database. And uh, that's going to be your database name, and we're going to look at that later in PHP my admin. Username and password are set to admin and admin. Uh, highly recommended to change that after you install WordPress and you can do that through the WordPress um, interface. So I'm gonna go ahead and install here. It's gonna install in my, um, in my document root. And it looks like we have a successful install of uh, WordPress on uh, using the extras feature. And here's a little uh, WordPress icon that shows up when you do it with the extras. Okay, so I have my uh, extra successfully installed. Um, you can also open the web browser from here as well. Um, one thing I wanna point out is uh, with any content management system behind the scenes, it did set up your database and I just want to show you where it is. So if you need to look at that, um, you will know where to look. Uh, just go to the Web Start button here, and in your Web Start, you can use PHP My Admin to administer the database. If you click on Databases, here's our WordPress screencast database, and that's what the installer did. It just uh, basically uh, just uh, named this database and then WordPress took care of the, took care of the rest. And um, so that's about it. So that's so you know where your database is if you do set it up using the extras host. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up WordPress on my own. So what I did is I uh, went to the WordPress website, wordpress.org, and I downloaded a version of WordPress and uh, if uh, I go to my uh, downloads folder, uh, this is what was downloaded, um, a folder called WordPress. So I'm just gonna copy that and I am going to go to my documents hosts folder and I'm just gonna copy this WordPress folder in there. So once I have that, I can go to my hosts and add a new host. We're gonna call this WP uh, own, I guess doing it uh, myself or yeah, we'll call it myself self um, 
and I need to set up the directory and my uh, document root is going to be WordPress. So once I do that, my host is set up and I'm going to save. So now I have a host set up and now I have to go through and manually set up the database. So if I click on WP myself, it says, hey, there's not anything set up here and let's go ahead and create the uh, setup here. So what they need is a database name, a username, password, host, and table prefix. So let's go ahead and go. So uh, database name is WordPress. Well, well, I'll get to the beta database name in a second, but I want to quickly set up the uh, username and password. When you set up MAMP Pro, MySQL uh, is set up. Uh, we set up MySQL with a root user and the password is root. You should probably change that uh, password, um, but I haven't and it is still root. So that is what I'm going to use. Um, uh, the database name, WordPress. Okay, well, this is important. You have to actually go into, if I go back into uh, my MAMP Pro, you actually have to set up the database name manually. So if I go to web start, I go to uh, PHP my admin, I go to databases and I say create date. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to create a database called WP myself and I'm going to create it. So we have a WP myself database now. So now I can go back into, uh, uh, the WordPress setup. Uh, wizard and type in WP myself and I'm set up there uh, these are gonna be the table prefixes you can change this to whatever you want uh, if you're running multiple uh, just as it says if you're running multiple WordPress sites it'll help you help you out with identifying uh, identifying them so we're all good to go here and all I have to do is press submit and it looks sparky and it looks like we're done run install and it says the famous five minute installation process so i'm gonna just uh, go through all of this as well i'm gonna make this my username admin which you probably shouldn't do with a uh, uh, password of admin which is of course telling me um it's very weak uh my fake Address at fake.com. Okay. Uh, and allow searches. Okay. That's all just internet stuff, I guess. Search engines can look at this. And we can do that. And we can log in. And let's see what happens. So just as before, we're at the starts page of WordPress and I have successfully installed MAMP Pro uh, both with the uh, extras and myself. And you, as you can see, the extras here has a little WordPress uh, symbol here indicated it is an extra and this done myself isn't. And that's gonna conclude this uh, screencast on installing WordPress.